Well, I bought the ticket because it allows support anything that uh, is supporting my children and supporting their place in the community. And that's what the club does here, the rugby club. You're just a part of the community and these places won't survive without support from the parents. That's why I support it and it uh, didn't matter to me whether the first prize was a trip to Swords for the weekend or Australia really, I'd be buying the ticket anyway. Ashburn in your club, your country, has found it great for raising money. We're building a new gym for instance out of it. It helps to send a few of our mini teams on little tours around the country. It's just a great help when they know that all the money, every penny that their club, their country earns, goes back to the club. That's a huge selling point. Put me hand in my pocket and sent up the money with the kids. Never thought any more about it until one morning in late November, I got a phone call from a woman purporting to be from the IRFU, which I was very skeptical of <laughs> for the first 30 seconds to a minute and a half. But when we finally ironed out that she was who she said she was, and she told me I had entered a draw, then she told me the good news that I'd actually won the first prize, which was a trip to Australia. I hadn't even a clue what the prize was, to be perfectly honest, but it wasn't long about finding out. And uh, I have to say, I'm a classic case of it could be you. <laughs> it's a no brainer for any club because you've no expenditure. All income. Where else would you get all income and no expenditure? So in that light, any club, take it, you can't lose.